Hello, this is my Let's Get Nuked. I'm thirsty. Those are my players, apart from that one there. Um, and this is, uh, hopefully, the uh, the fourth and final session of uh, The Long Road Home Villainy. Um, but let's face it, who knows what's going to happen. Um, so yeah, uh, before we jump into everything else, I think I said I was thirsty, but I'm thirsty. Hey, um, oh, we will once again be playing Nuked, which is a setting for the Spiced system, which is owned and written by Bloodthirsty Puppets. Us. Um, so, uh, for those of you who can't recall, because it's a long time ago, um, like, we're playing characters, and we will introduce those characters in a moment. <coughs> yes. But before we do that, those of you who are eagle-eyed and looking at chat will notice that I wrote out the rules for chat. Uh, but if you haven't seen the rules for chat, they are as follows. Don't be a tool about someone's race. Don't be a tool about someone's gender. And don't be a tool. Or a screwdriver. That's right. So, there we are. You know who I am, you know what we're playing, and you know what not to do. So, without further ado, who are the rest of these people? So... We shall now undergo that process of introduction. And maybe I even move Kit into the right place on the damn window, because he's moved since I adjusted where he was. Now he's moving again! He's tricky. He's tricky. He's tricky. It's hard to pin him down. But hey, there we are. He's, he's got a cheeky smile on, so we'll forgive him. God, they're all moving. He's ducking out a shot! <laughs> you know what? I don't care. I'm going to leave it like this. This is fine. I'm in shot. I might actually have to set up more. Oh well. So, who will we go with first? I think we should go with the elusive Canadian. So, <laughs> who are you playing? Who are you? What's happening? Um, I'm Kit. Uh, you can find me here and uh, on my channel, Kit Battlebeard, both here and on Twitter. Uh, I'm an avid D and D player, but for the time, I've mostly been playing Spiced more than uh, D and D, surprisingly. <laughs> oh, you know. uh, so I am playing Travis, your lovely neighborhood travel agent, <laughs> mm. who um, just so happens to not be a murderer at all, and accidentally, by no fault of his own, uh, shot a tiller. You Completely, shot. utterly by accident. Yes, yes. By by accident, uh, the weapon that we'd established was lever action, and then subsequently established had no trigger guard. Went off uh, and shot someone after yep. you attempted to pass it off as a weapon that was bound in wire and rendered inactive. Yep. Didn't, uh, I thought you said it was a side loading but single shot thing, wasn't it? We also said that it was uh, old. Yep. And the wire, I did say, was coming off, and I sh wanted to uh, put it in the bank for that reason. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that was all legit, but, you know. But, well, they thought it was legit. We know that you crudely wrapped a piece of wire around it about 20 seconds beforehand. But, yeah. hey, that's how things go. So, there we are. Travis the travel agent with his misfiring gun. Uh, so, next, uh, we shall hop down to tech. Who are you playing? Hello. Um, yep, I am be playing Barry the Bastard for this session again. Um, yeah, uh, currently debating whether to run in and join the devastation or to run away and live to fight another day. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll find out what decision I come to very soon. <laughs> yes, 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 always, as we say, uh, you know, new to a game of thrilling heroics and... Uh, yeah, you know, and in great moral fortitude. You know, not at all a game played by people willing to you know, portray self-serving mercenaries. God, my guy literally has the bastard in his name. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's Barry the Bastard. Oh, what an inspiring name. Oh, deep narrative joy. Anyway, so finally, let's bring some class to this. Uh, what? A character, a character pretends to have a PhD. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
you can bring intelligence to this. I don't think she has much class. Yeah. This is spice. We have no class. True. <laughs> Good point. Yes. <laughs> so I beg to differ. Travis has taken classes Fair in enough. things <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> well, to be fair, he did. He, we have stated that he went to travel agent school. Yeah. So yes, Spanners, who should you be playing tonight? I am playing Jem, who is a uh, is a doctor. In fact, a professor, um, procurer of interesting meat, possibly puppies, um, poisoner of said meat, <laughs> um, yes. exploder of. Bowels. Bowels. Or understanding <laughs> last time. Um, yeah, Colonic so ambush. This. So, you know, everything that she was doing was for science. Um, and, um, yeah. She went for a little bit of a walk because uh, the six seconds that we were, uh, we were told last time that uh, it took to uh, create this sort of explosion um, from her interesting powders um, was a barefaced lie, um, and she hasn't forgotten. Good. <laughs> yes. So there we are. Now, those of you who, those of you who were listening closely, there may have established some of what was happening. But being that it has been quite some time, and I had to remind the players only a few moments ago. Um, let's recap. Our, uh, our wonderful crew of upstanding citizens uh, uh, were in the town of Hawes in the north of the Desolation. Uh, they attained information from, from a drunken fellow called Graham, who they didn't ask the name of and someone else had to tell them, um, that there was a group of, uh, of guards moving some very, very special cargo uh, through the town. Uh, it was, it was just, just, just been referred to as The Box so far. Uh, it's currently locked up in the bank, and there are some mean-looking outsider guards who speak its weird language, uh, standing in a tent outside. Uh, you procured drugs, you procured meats, you poisoned those guards, and they're currently in the process of throwing up uh, and, and crapping themselves, and generally having a bad time. Um, at which point, uh, Travis and... The lovely Lilith, who's not here tonight, uh, character Olivia, went inside, um, turned in a rifle, and blew away one of the tellers by accident. And Olivia took the opportunity to go and beat the other one to death. Um, those outside have just heard the gunshot. They're standing there in front of five very poisoned people and 24 <laughs> unpoisoned guards. Probably staying there looking a little confused. So, without further ado, we shall uh, dive back into the scene. Right, we shall come back to. Screw it. Let's, uh, let's come back to, uh, to Barry and Jen. Uh, standing in the street uh, next to the south gate of the town of Hawes. Uh, you're, uh, You've just come around the block, I believe. You're standing a fair distance away from the bank, as I recall. Uh, which side of the street are you hugging? Bank's on the left. We decided we looped around and came back. Yeah. So we're on the looking towards the bank. We're on the left side of the street, on the bank side of the street. Oh, okay, cool. Yes. Yeah. I think we we're in the alleyway by where the dogs were. That's on the right. Oh, was it okay? Yeah. That's where you started to hide. If the bank was on the right. Okay. Then we looped around again. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So yeah, you've, you're standing there. Uh, um, yeah, you've just heard a gunshot go off. Uh, the the guards at the gate are looking a little worried, but their job is the gate. So uh, at the moment, they're just closing it. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> they're just like stopping anyone coming in, stopping anyone leave. It's like who's the gates? Um, was it obvious where this bang came from, or was it just like there was a loud bang, but it's difficult to tell where it came from? Um. To be fair, there's a loud bang and, bro- and the shout sounds of breaking glass uh, inside the bank, uh, which they're standing right next to. If it had been further away, it could have been a bit more sort of ambiguous. Okay. But someone carrying a rifle just walked into the bank, and now there's a gunshot. Okay. 
And did, did it look like they're not particularly fussed about this? Um, it looks like they're concerned, but their first job is the gate. Yeah. Like, the, the, the basic like thing that people do in whores is there's problems, they close the gates, make sure the problem isn't external, and then they deal with things indoors. Okay. Because it's, it's, it's fundamentally a merchant city, so they're just like, they're not big on law and order. They just all want to be safe. Yeah. In that case, I might go and try and, like, distract the guards. Just, like, to, st- like, at least slow them down in their, like, kind of, uh, not, like, not trying to interfere with what they're doing, but just kind of go over there and have a chat and go, like, oh, well, you know, I did see some guy walking around the streets with a rifle and, like, pointing up the road a little while ago, so. Right. Like, well, let, let, let suits words to actions. What are you doing? What are you two doing? You are you're in the street, there's the been a cars. gunshot. I'm so just going to, like, saunter over there, like, not, not con- in an unconcerned manner. Okay, then. You're sauntering across the guards in an unconcerned manner. What's Jem doing? Um, she is not going to go with, however, um, is going to kind of make her way towards the um, less well. And they're not guards, are they? They're, they're just kind of soldiers. Mercs. Mercs. Appropriate yeah. term, I suppose. Um, yeah, so she's going to make, make her way over to them. Um, and. Um, appear to the people at the gate as if she's sort of checking on their welfare when in actual fact what she's doing is she's just taking scientific notes on quite how devastating um this uh, potion has been <laughs> okay uh yeah you uh so yeah, you rush across uh roll me a medic and just leave the dice where they fall uh, we'll okay. come back to that in a moment Okay. So, Barry, you've you're wandering over to the guards. Um, it looks like half of the contingent are going outside the gates. Hmm. Basically, half of them are pulling the gates from the outside, and the other half are pushing the gates from the inside. Okay. Um, like there are some up on like the towers around it, but it seems the majority of them are operating the gates. Uh, who are you? Is there uh, is there anyone who's kind of like looks like they're in charge? Um, not really. It, it, the the guards look like a fairly ragtag bunch. Uh, there are people who are shouting louder. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go up to the guards that I see closing the door mm. and be like, "Whoa, whoa hang on, we we can't close the gates. There's a big shipment due in. Uh, if we shut these gates, it's gonna, really gonna." Screw uh, yeah, you know, this is quite an urgent shipment, like you know, food and medicine coming in, we can't like delay it outside while we've got the gate shut. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Right. Okay. We have Right. We have twenty four guards. I have I know this wouldn't actually provide proper results because the results are skewed, but some on the other side of the gate. So let's see. Where on the pecking order you get that? That's two d10s and a d4. Okay. Yeah, that is a nice solid thirteen. So you get someone broadly midway in the pecking order. Um, yeah, someone. Yeah, it seems to be one of the people who's encouraging the guys around him. Uh, not necessarily like shouting commands, but like, "Come on, guys, let's get it done." Uh, you know, he's got his back to the door. He's you know setting his feet and pushing, which is the only reason he's really facing you. Um, and he he he, <laughs> he looks a bit taken aback. He's like, "You, we 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 gate guards. This is what we do. Like, move along. <laughs> a shipment can wait outside. What do I care?" Well, I think it's like for one of the high ups, and you know, if they get their shit held up by someone, they yeah. It's not going to be my ass they're coming down on. I'm just like giving you fair warning. Well, <laughs> could I attempt to make some kind of like yeah, yeah. Light, the pros, light check, see if the I pros can make rolls them. at me. I do have lying as easy. Come yeah, on, yeah. and you're going to manipulate him, are you? Or yeah, is this an attempt to intimidate also, him? I'm actually going to use one of my legendary points as well. Okay, I believe I was donated one by Corona that I haven't used yet. So. 
Are you attempting to intimidate him with the with the mention of authority, or manipulate him with your charisma? It's more like manipulate because I'm trying to kind of like, yeah, I'm I'm on your side. You know, I don't want you to get screwed over by this. I'm kind of trying to come across as being like giving friendly warning rather than like, oh, you'd better not do this because no. I don't okay. have any authority here. Yeah. Okay. Ah, that wasn't so good. That was a botch. A legendary Ex- botch. Excellent, you legendary botch. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm not going to re-roll that. I'll let that slide. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, you you got up to this guy. Uh, you know, you interfere with him at work. You 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 attempt to make some sort of vague threat, some like vague threat to authority. Uh, you, know, it, you know, it's not me telling you. Like it's the it, it's stuff for the higher ups. Like you know, you you come to his job and you tell him his business. Um, <laughs> You do it in you, know, you phrase it in an insulting fashion. You know, your your emphasis like is clearly away. off. You know. And you know, he the guy looks pretty knocked off with you, to be honest. You know, he straightens up, the others are still pushing the door, he's just standing there. <laughs> you know, he puts a hand out, you know, he's, he's not quite touching you, you know, in that you know in that I'm a cop and I'm showing you who I'm in bo- I'm boss sort of thing. You know, his hand isn't quite touching you on the chest, he's just like, look. Back the fuck off. <laughs> like, we're doing our job. Like, this is what I do. Um, you know, he, you know, he, he, he whistles and he, you know, he points to you and you get the impression that someone on top of the gate is paying more attention to you. Uh, you know, possibly at the other end of something with gunpowder in it. Um, yeah. Yeah, you see, you see some of like you know some of like the bristling bits on top of the gate start to turn towards you. Because you maybe they weren't spikes. Um, yeah, All he's right, like, well, right, I, you know, I want you to leave the area. I, I don't want to see you. All right, no problem. And I will turn and walk back up the street. Okay. Right. Okay. So, Jim, what was your? Uh, what was your medic roll? Okay, it was an eight. It was an eight. Um, yeah, you go over and you use your vast medical knowledge and uh, knowledge of chemistry and the effects of poisons to determine these men have shat themselves. Um, uh, they they're not looking healthy. Uh, some of them like their lips have gone blue. Uh, they're sort of barely conscious. Um, some of them are clearly having quite a lot of trouble breathing. Um, yeah. They don't appear to be choking. They just seem to be struggling generally. Uh, are you um, are you going to touch them, or are you just sort of squatting nearby, staring at them? Um, she is just kind of. She's not even squatting. She's just standing, um, observing, um, making sure that she doesn't touch any fluid. Um, <laughs> Um, I'm making notes in her little book. Okay. Um, <laughs> look, don't touch. Yeah, look, don't touch. Uh, she's made a note of the blue lips. Um, she has um, worked out roughly how long that took um, and has made a note um, less stim. Okay. Yeah. Um, as you're standing there uh, taking these notes, um, Um, uh, there's a young woman um, accompanied by sort of a teenage man, boy whichever way you want to really phrase it um, like they rush over they're, they're, they're dressed in a similar manner to the gate guards um, sort of like hodgepodge armour you know, weapons that aren't laced up but don't look particularly lethal um, they rush over and they're just like why are you just standing there? Help these men! Uh, before, but just, just before you touch them um we're a bit of a closed area around here you know there's gates everywhere if they're infectious you get it you're gonna pass it to your family i would stay back uh, hmm. i would say that's an intelligence intimidate yeah 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 don't botch <laughs> no 13. <laughs> Um, the um, 
The woman, um, she does stop short of of, touch, of actually grabbing them. Like she, she's done that thing that you know you see EMTs do in films where they rush over and they like drop to their knees while opening their bag, like while still sliding a little. Um, and you yeah. would here. Yeah, and you know she, you know, she's like, pulling things out of her bag. She's like you know trying to look, and then she's like, oh, actually, <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know they. <laughs> This person, you know, they're, 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 their face is slowly turning blue. You know, they, they smell of shit and they're covered in their own vomit. Like, oh, hmm. maybe I don't want to touch this. <laughs> Look, the young, the, like the teenage guy, um, he he stops dead a few feet away. Um, you get the impression if this was a religious area, he'd be like crossing himself and like backing away. Um, uh, he. Uh, you know, turns to the woman and says, like, um, sh 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 should, I, should I be getting, like, um, uh, should I be, uh, fetching someone? Uh, is there anything you need? Um, um I think best uh, thing to do is to make sure that this doesn't pass to anyone else. I may well already be infected, so let's just make sure you don't get infected yourselves. Go back, tell your friends, tell your family, stay indoors, shut all of the doors, don't let the germs come in. Um, best thing for you to do is to let this air um, until it passes. Unfortunately, it's too late for these guys. You just get yourself to safety um, and take as many people to safety as you possibly can. Make sure you stay indoors. Uh, so at this point, the, the woman has decided she's helping. Uh, she's there already. You've said that you're probably infected, so she's like, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm probably screwed anyway. Uh, exactly, Kit. Uh, so yeah, she uh, you know, she finishes pulling things out of her bag, and she pulls out she pulls out what's fairly easily recognisable as like a stim syringe, and, and and rams it into this person's chest. Like you know, she she takes like she takes, out, like, a, takes like, a, like a like a, um, like penny cutter scissors, like proper like EMT penny cutter scissors, and like yeah, cuts up the front of this person's like armoured jacket. And, and slams this thing into their chest, and this person starts going into like violent convulsions, uh, and like froth starts coming out of their eyes and mouth. Um, <laughs> their eyes? Yeah, <laughs> frothing at the eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Uh, you know they're really eager then. Yeah, it's like frothing at the eyes and mouth. Uh, you can you can see like veins on their face starting to stand up, which is weird because they can't breathe. So where's the, yeah? But hey, is the teenager still watching? Um. Yeah, uh, the teenager is watching uh, from an increasing distance. Uh, okay. Uh, he's, he's like ripped how, like how part of the forearm he? off his jacket. <laughs> he's like holding it across his face. <laughs> how far away is he? Um, from you or them? From me. Um, he's probably about five or ten meters. He's he's been backing okay. away fairly steadily the whole time. Cool. Um, so I'm gonna be like. Um, leading over this old lady, going, look, look, you're not, you're, you're just making it worse. And as I um, like put my arm over her to try and try and pull her back, um, I'm just going to take um, a little patch from inside my um, scientist's coat. Um, mm -hmm. You know, oh, she's, no. she's wearing like a flash of Mac, which is a, a science jacket. Um, and that patch is just going to gently go underneath the lady's. Um, top. Okay. That is a purge patch. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, oh no! Oh. Look how quickly it's contagious. <laughs> oh god. I have to put the rules in here somewhere. Uh, <laughs> oh no! No, I didn't. Bugger. This I wasn't poor not in the street. person. Okay. Yeah. Um. God. No, this is bad. <laughs> You're bad people for doing this. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, you uh, you slap no. this purge patch on. Um, she, she, you, she, you feel her like starting to like shrug, like because when someone puts something like that on, you can feel it on your skin. Like it's not always the, the most comfortable feeling, but she feels like you've just like patted her. Like with a greasy hand or something. It's like kind of a sticky feeling. Um, and uh, 
you because you've got your arm around you, you feel the jolt in her muscles as she sort of straightens up a bit. And uh she sort of groans and leans forward. Please tell me she pukes on this person. <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> nearly in front of someone at the moment. And yeah, um, a stream of, of, of vileness uh, erupts fore and aft. Um, and she could, you know, her, her hands slam down on this guy's chest, which probably isn't doing him any favours either. Um, <laughs> but yeah, she uh, starts to sort of... The moment it's sort of more like chunky spit. Um, rather than, you know, proper streaming. But, you know, you get the feeling she's trying, trying, trying to hold on. Uh, yeah, that doesn't last long. Um, but yeah. She, she's like, oh god! <laughs> get back! <laughs> uh, am I just walking past as this is happening? Yeah. You're, you're now, like, being ushered away, you know, a gun <laughs> Can I, if I was seeing this, I'm just going to shout, oh god, it's spreading, and just break into a run up the street. <laughs> just Ooh. like, you know, like, oh god, run before you get infected to see if any of the gate guards will kind of like run away <laughs> when they see this. Or maybe decide they want to be the other side of the gate. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you decide to make a runner for it. All right, Travis. Yes. Yes. You're standing in the bank. You have a you have a bank teller standing on the other side of what I believe is a piece of broke oh no oh, the, the the window was open because you'd handed the gun through. Um you have a dead teller. Um I believe a small powder burns on the front of the guy's like shirt and a massive exit wound and a big like you know jam splatter pattern up the back of the wall. Uh Olivia's jumped through and, and, and lamped some poor dude so hard he died. Um, it's just sort of standing there breathing heavily uh, yeah what are you doing oh boy what am I doing uh... <laughs> all alone uh... somebody help this poor person and I'm gonna crawl over and try to save them Oh, I love it. <laughs> and by save them, I mean look for the safe key. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I assume you're doing this. You know, you're you're employing subterfuge, so this will be a sneak. Um. I'm gonna roll the seat. Oh God. Okay. Um. Uh, you can hear like rattling from the other side of like the big shuttered door that leads into the vault, like the atrium to the vault. Uh, but nothing seems to be occurring yet because those guys were really, really badly. Um, <laughs> so I'm rolling what? Just you're rolling sneak? a sneak. Yeah, you're you're seeing how you know, how roundabout you can be about rifling through this guy's pockets, basically. Uh, that's a thirteen. Okay, yeah. Um, it turns out uh, apparently they don't like bank tellers here having much in their pockets, or even having many pockets. Because that's just invites thieving. Yeah, you can slip things in your pockets if you have too many of them. Uh, so this guy basically just has, like, one back pocket on his right cheek, and one, like, breast pocket on his shirt. Essentially, uh, in his breast pocket, he has the gun, the, the 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 twin of the gun token he just gave you, basically. He has like the chip to show that that token's been given out. And there's one on the gun, one in the one in the till sort of thing, and one in your hand. And in his back pocket, there is a key. <laughs> I'm gonna pocket that key. It's like a big. Um, it's like a fairly big thing. It's like it's almost something you would grip with a whole fist. And there's a bar that comes out between your fingers. It's kind of like the keys you get on a naff old gas meter. You could hold it like that. I mean, most people hold it with their thumb, finger and thumb. But you know, it almost looks like something vaguely industrial, but it's made of bright yellow plastic. I'm just going to pretend that I know what that means. Mm -hmm. And uh... 
Essentially, it's, it's a handle it. with no teeth. <laughs> okay. It looks like it just fits into a socket and turns, basically. Okay. But yeah. But yeah, you, you're standing there. You have this bright yellow plastic thing. It looks like it was clearly made for some other purpose. <laughs> Is Olivia doing a decent job at um, distracting people? Olivia is currently standing with both her hands on the wall, breathing heavily over the body of a person she just murdered. Um, you get the impression that she doesn't dive through windows every day. Um, I'm just going to tell her, make a distraction with the other chillers, please. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Olivia runs over to the door and starts like slamming her fists on it. What what do you want her to say? She you know she literally she runs she's like okay she runs over and starts like smacking her fists on the closed door and then she just looks at you like what am I saying? Make something up. Just, I don't care. Like, I think he's dead. Help! Uh, and I'm gonna. She's not very smart. So I'm gonna crawl over to the vault place. Okay. Then. So you're you're <laughs> army crawling over to the door that she's like standing next to. Okay. Uh, as you get there, um, on the left of the door, because say so you have the teller's windows on the left, big atrium door on the right. Um, as you sort of reach the little bit of wall between them, sort of thing, uh, you can see there are three sockets on the wall. Uh, yeah, they look like they would fit this key. Shit. I'm gonna put one in. I'm gonna put my key in. Which one? Top, middle, and bottom. They're they're arranged Do vertically. Does the key give any significance on it? Like, does it have any? No. As I say, it looks like it's made for a different purpose. So, this is just a key that fits a hole. It doesn't give any I'll, indication of which one. It probably it it might even top. fit them all. <laughs> I'll I'll try it in each one, and if it fits all of them, I'll just leave it in the top one. Yeah, yeah. essentially, um, yeah, you you go over and like push it in, and essentially, it's kind of like it's kind of like a socket set sort of thing. So you push it on, it just fits over the thing there. You take it out, fit it on the next one, it fits. Get the impression this is just like a certain shaped nut and it turns it sort of thing but you don't know which one <laughs> so you're leaving it in the top yeah yeah okay mate. and you said that so there's two dead bodies now there are two dead bodies yeah there are there are... i'll go i'll go search the other one <laughs> yeah so you go over to the other guy who's been pummeled to death uh and once again, yeah, same sort of arrangement. Yeah, he's got, you know, he's got some like loose like chits and like little notes in his top pocket. I think it was a here. Uh, and yeah, you check the po back pocket, and once again, there is one of these plastic keys. Um, it's um, this one's blue. Why not? Okay, I'll put it on the middle one. Yeah. Is there a third person around here? You can't see a third person there. Olivia, we need in that door. So, um, you you can hear people moving the other side of the door, like you know your 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 cries of alarm have clearly stirred something. How caused the post in security guard? <laughs> Uh, while she's banging on that, I will look around the other teller windows for a possible other key. That's it. The, these teller windows, it's essentially like, it, it's really just sort of like a bar with windows that have been nicked from other buildings. Um, so there's no, like, drawers or anything. 
there are there, there is like a single drawer, like an, a very very old school like till drawer underneath the the actual like bench, but it's not very big. Okay. You get the impression this is where like the little chits come from. There. Okay. Um, I'm gonna run around. Just keep. I'm gonna go further around the back and see if I can see any other person back here. Okay. Yeah, as you as you walk along, it doesn't. It doesn't look like it really. Um, you have the four cashier windows. You have four drawers. You have two corpses. You have three slots for keys and two keys. Okay, they're in. They're in that room. Uh. So, what's your Olivia, solution? I think I heard a puppy in there. We need to get it out of here. <laughs> that reminds me, Olivia's got a puppy in her pocket, hasn't she? Um, she does. Yeah. So the uh, the puppy is, is is distressed and it's making little yapping noises uh, because a gun went off next to it. And it went through a, a glass window. So yeah, uh, yeah, it's okay. Um, she actually you know, bashing on this window. You can you can hear you can hear some definite rumbling from the other side of this uh, this door now. Whatever's happening, it, it's happening faster now. Uh, yeah. But the door still isn't moving. Um, so yeah. You have Puppy, you have Olivia. You're trying to convince Olivia that there's something going on behind this door. What do you want her to do? She's I like, wanted to, yeah, she's like, yeah, I wanted to break the door down. You wanted to break the door down. Okay. This is like a, a series of security shutters and garage doors and things. Like, over each other. <laughs> okay. And is this, is this going into the vault? You, or is uh, this just... This uh, is, no, as far as you know, this is just going into a more secure area of the bank. I think you've seen this door closing, but you haven't seen what's on the other side. I don't have anything else I can use to open it, so... Try the handle. Is there a handle or a button or something to open it? Well, they say there are three keyholes. I don't have the other key! <laughs> you don't know you need three. You have three keyholes. You don't even know I'm what you're doing. Try, I'm going to try turning one of the keys. Which one? The top one. Okay, yeah. You, you you turn the top key. Um, you hear like a dull thunk, uh, but nothing visibly occurs. I'll turn the second one. Okay, uh, the second one won't turn. You put the key I'll, on, and it just won't go. I'll move that key to the bottom one and try and turn it. Uh, yeah, you put it in the bottom. Um, which way do you try and turn it, left or right? Left. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you put it in the bottom, you turn it. Uh, there is another dull thunk. Um, the door that Olivia is like pounding on, uh, it starts to move a little more. You get the impression whatever's securing it has been released. Um, I'll move the top key to the middle and then try and open it. And then turn it. <laughs> move the top key to the middle and you turn it. Turning it right or left? Right. Okay. Put the, put the key in. You turn it right. And, um, and a bell rings. Like, it's not very loud, um, but it's loud enough to be heard in this room. Uh, at which point... At which point you hear the noises on the other side of the door uh, get a lot more insistent. Um, you can hear something being moved, something quite heavy being dragged. Uh, the door might be being opened from the other side. <laughs> Turn it the other way. <laughs> the bell stops. The noises oh, do not. Right. Those of you who are outside. Uh, Barry, you're running off up the street. 
if um I'll turn after running like a few steps, I'm gonna turn around and see what the gate guard are doing with this latest news that this contagion is spreading. Uh the gate guard appear to be uh retreating into the gatehouse. Cool. Basically. I'm going to then duck into the bank. Okay, you're going to run back past the contagion into the bank. Cool. Okay. Um the uh yeah, I was gonna say there's there's no one really to stop you. The 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 teenage boy is running past you. Uh, he's just like, "What are you doing? Run! Run for your life!" <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna fetch him. Uh, uh, he just like vanishes into a pub down the road. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you see Run him like, shedding his armored jacket and just like throwing it into an alleyway. Um, <laughs> is it roughly my size? You are a very large man. He is a teenage boy. Um, <laughs> you might be able to do like a, a 90s sort of tacits around the waist <laughs> sort of deal, that. but... <laughs> nah. I'll leave it then. I'm kind of like, my eyes last time, like, oh, potential money, but wait, we're in the middle of a bank heist. I'll yeah. worry about it later. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. As you as you turn around and... Me? Me? <laughs> I'm in the bank heist. <laughs> As you uh, head back to the bank, uh, you hear a bell ring. Like it's not loud. It's like when you're walking past like a school and you hear them like ringing the bell for the end of lunch, sort of thing. Okay. Like you know a bell is ringing, but it's not like ah fire alarm, sort of thing. Um. Yeah. You, I'm gonna, uh, once I'm in the pub, um, I think I'm going to. You go to the pub now. No, sorry, the into the. Uh... <laughs> Into the uh, bank. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll come in there and immediately see like blood bodies and things everywhere, won't I? Uh, no, you'll come in and you'll see some blood sprayed up the back, sprayed up the wall in, you know, in like the bank teller's compartment. Uh, you'll see a broken window and and Travis and Olivia messing about with the door. <laughs> I'll, I'll be a, well, Olivia holds a puppy with one it. hand. <laughs> Quick. Quick what? 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 Get the box. We need to go. Like everyone on the road heard this the explosion I, going off. I am trying to get into the vault. <sighs> I will. Um, I'll run over, like, and see if I can lend assistance. Like, what? What? What's, what's holding you up? The door will not open. Okay, so I guess I can come over and see this array of like keys and things. Yeah. Yes, Does you. it just basically look like these are like plastic Allen keys that are fitting over bolts in the door? Basically, yeah. Okay. Does it... And they all seem to be the same size. There's no different... They're not they're not different sized. Uh, no, no. They they all seem to be very, roughly the same size. There might be like different numbers of sides, but they all like fit. It's whether okay. they like... They turn properly sort of thing. But they grip okay. very well. Is there any like... Um, Around the edge of the bolt, is there any like marks on the the wall where these have been? Because if these are plastic turning on like metal things, they might have left like kind of bits of plastic kind of like scout sc you know scored in the in the wall. Um, do a perception. Yeah, give me a perception. Uh, uh crit. Crit. Ah, oh, shit. You crit. Okay. Um. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so at the moment we have the blue one in the bottom and the yellow one in the middle, yeah? Yeah. Okay, um, you you examine it, you can see that, you can see traces of yellow plastic in the top one. Uh, and I tell uh, which way they've been turned by the kind of, the gouge marks. Not really, I mean the gouge marks would be on the key rather than on the, the keyhole. Right, okay. Uh, Didn't know if they like if you like rub a plastic down a wall, it leaves like a. Smear. It can it can leave like a horrible smear, but you can't necessarily. It's a key. You turn it both ways to get it to do yeah. what it's doing, sort of thing. Right. So, yeah, you can just see that the yellow one definitely goes in the top. Right. Can I see different colours around each? Um, Are you taking the keys oh. out? Yeah, I and mean, uh, if you release the keys, do they go back to their neutral position, or do they stay where they are? They stay where they are. Okay, I'll just 
pull it off and have a look at the end of it to see if it's got any like well like, you know look at the hole and see if, if each one of them has a distinctive color or if there's bits of yellow and blue on each of them yeah yeah let's say the the bottom one is definitely where the blue one goes uh the middle one doesn't actually have any plastic traces okay in it or not any old ones at least right okay I'm going to say like, it looks like this middle one isn't used, so maybe just leave this in the middle position and try turning the other two. Well, I already tried turning the other two, and it's still not open, whatever this door is. Did you try them both ways? No. I'm going to take that silence for a no and try turning them the other way. <laughs> okay, yeah. So you, you turn them both to the right. I believe they were turned yeah. to the left previously. Yeah. Uh, you, you turn them both to the right. Um, you hear two like heavy thunks, uh, and the door stops rattling under the blows from Olivia. <laughs> okay. Does this vault door move now? Because we're standing by the vault door, and she's at another door, isn't she? Or no, is she's door? drumming on the vault door. Oh, okay. I thought there were two doors. No. Right. Okay. As it was. She was drumming on like a shutter door, and it yeah. was starting to like rattle. And you just turned the keys, and it's gone clunk and stopped. <laughs> like, okay. Uh, so if, if I, anything, if I turn... you may have just locked it again. Yeah. So if I turn the bottom one to the left, mm. does that make any difference to the sound the door's making? Yeah. When you turn the bottom one, the the door facing you, the the, the outer shutter, starts yeah. to move again, but it okay. is still a shutter. Can it be slid up? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, I'll say to Olivia, can you slide it up? I know. Yeah, she, she's only got one hand. She's holding a puppy. <laughs> I thought yeah. it was in her pocket. Yeah, but it got distressed when guns went off. Oh, she's strong. She <laughs> okay. That's very wrong. Um, yeah, um, it looks like the puppy is demanding a lot of her attention. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, she only wrote a three. So. <laughs> Travis, can you try sliding that door up? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I'll try and slide it up. Okay. You, you, you and Olivia get side by side and brace and stop pulling. Um, Jim, you're outside. You've got four or five victims of this poison you made. You've got another one who's currently undergoing purge. What are you doing? Um, I'm going to step back a little bit from her. Look and go... Well, I warned you. Um, and then walk into the bank. Are you going to take your purge pack off her or leave it on her back? No, she's going to keep that. Okay. Because she um, will eventually notice that someone's put a purge pack on her back. <laughs> somebody might eventually notice, but by the time they notice and they've got through all of the vomit and crap and everything else, um, we're going to be long gone, hopefully. True. Um, and having poisoned, like... A whole bunch of guards. Jem's feeling quite um, <laughs> reckless. Um, <laughs> she was such a nice person when this started. Um, How quickly you can descend after all these centuries of life. <laughs> all it takes is one reckless afternoon. So one, so yeah, centuries of being a scientist and a woman of medicine and healing. <laughs> and now she's undone in an afternoon. <laughs> Yes. Um, peer pressure. That's what I'm blaming. Um, you just met Travis. That's all it takes. What it is. No, he he has relocated my morals somewhere. <laughs> yeah. That's about um, right. And yeah, she's going to walk into the bank um, to see who got shot. Yes. Hey. Okay, yes. You just like just like those before you, you walk into the bank, you just see like the big like strawberry jam splatter of someone getting shot through uh on, up the wall. Uh, you can't see the bodies because they're laying behind the desks, sort of thing, or laying behind the counter. Um but you can see uh Olivia struggling to control a panicking puppy, uh Travis attempting to be strong, uh, and Barry, like the largest oh, maybe the second largest person in the group uh, fiddling with some plastic keys and telling everyone else to pull harder. 
Um, rather than helping to open a door. <laughs> I, uh, I think I'm more of a management person than a, than a, than a muscle. Fair enough. Keep telling okay. yourself that. Um, uh, so she's going to go to Olivia um, and um, suggest that Olivia lets her hold the puppy while she helps. I don't know whether Olivia's going to let me hold the puppy. Yeah. Um, 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 got any chloroform for it? I was going to say that while Olivia doesn't seem to mind this idea, the puppy's having none of it. Um, uh, the puppy is, it, you know, is is, a, is desperately trying to make sure it, it's clutched to Olivia's chest. Okay. As she tries um, to like, take it away, it's sort of like running up her arm. It's clearly found its new mama. Okay. Um. So yeah, much you like picking up. Um, yes, if you shouldn't play with food. Um, much like picking up somebody else's screaming child, um, she's going to kind of hold it at arm's length and be like, yes, um, shush. You're going to shake it? You're going to hold the puppy at arm's length and shake it? No, no, just kind of doing that oh, thing. Oh, gentle bouncing. Just, the gentle bouncing, bouncing that terrifies like, a puppy. Okay. Should I not but, have done that with my children? Like, how much change is in this? <laughs> <laughs> Stop crying. Lunch or <laughs> lunch or snack. Mm. Just you know, you know, that sort of like weighing up of the the yes. Okay. Like, yeah. Please stop yelling at me. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So yeah, you're you're waving a puppy around at arm's length. Um, yeah. The puppy starts like howling uh, <laughs> uh, 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 and like flailing towards Olivia. Um, it's having no great fun. Um, it 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 unloads its bowels. As well, in oh, panic no. and fear, because beginning to think it's me. <laughs> it's your presence. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you do also stink of vomit. Um, yeah. And you know, other fluids. But yeah, this puppy is having none of your presence. Basically, um, it's desperately trying to get away, but it it, it botched getting away, so it just chaff itself. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, 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 you have a scared puppy that desperately doesn't want to be anywhere near you, uh, occupying your your efforts and vision. Um, so yeah, having divested herself of a puppy, Olivia just goes over, puts her hands like underneath the uh, underneath the grate, and Travis, give me a strength roll. Ah, uh... oh, good. That's a twelve. Nice. Yeah. Yes. With your, with your cumulative like twenty-two, you uh, <laughs> you manage to get this damn thing up. Like this is normally the work of you know people who know how to operate the door. Uh, so <laughs> you have to manually open the shutter um, to reveal the door behind it. Um, but yes. You've raised the first shutter. Behind it is like a cage lift door. Does that move? If someone tries to, yeah. I'm, I'm still directing efforts. I've got the keys. Oh. Olivia's going back for the puppy. She's she's seen it's in distress. It starts to, it started to howl and it's emptied its bowels all over someone. So <laughs> she's like, no, 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 come back here. See, it works. Yeah. The little puppy is enjoying it. Yeah. Olivia's trying to. <laughs> yeah. The absent uh, person's character is, is taking care of the puppy. I'm just cringing away from Gemma, though. I'm like, oh, God, that's repulsive. <laughs> <laughs> I, to be fair, she smells like it. the farm you left. Um, yeah. yeah, I left that for a reason. <laughs> try turning the bottom one left. I'll, I'll, uh, the bottom one was I just turned to open this door. So do you want to try the top one instead? Yeah. Yeah, I'll try to turn on the top one because that had made a clunk noise when I turned that last time. Okay. Yeah. So you, you turn it, you hear another clunk. Um, you see, uh, you see two hooks pull back up into the the top of the door frame through the cage. That thing. Yeah. Cool. It should slide now. Yeah. I'll... I will slide it. Yep. 
it slides open perfectly easily. Uh, it you know it's made to resist people pushing against it basically. You know, if you just slide it casually aside once it's unlocked, it opens up you know, nice and smooth. Did we hear any sounds of people inside? Yes. Okay, I'm yes, gonna yes. I'm gonna attempt to unwire my gun while he's sliding this over. Okay. Um, hmm. What do you want to try to do? Is I guess it would be a craft or something to re- or repair. Oh uh, yeah, you do a repair. I suppose you're restoring restoring function, aren't you? But yeah, you can you can still hear people operating, I mean, presumably operating the door on the other side. Uh, right. Let me just have a quick check. I rolled an eight. I just need to check what my repair skill is. Mm-hmm. Jim, what are you doing while he's fiddling with his gun? Um, Ten in total. Mm-hmm. So she's handed the dog back. Mm-hmm. Um, she's actually she's be having a look um, inside her coat. Um, she takes out a very small bottle, um, which has like a, a, a spray on it. Um, she puts like a little bit of powder inside, and it fizzes. Gives it a shake um, and starts to spray herself. Initially, it smells like really acrid and and acidic. Mm. Um, and then the smell on her coat kind of just lifts. Hmm. Um, and at this point, she's just going to kind of go around. Um, she adds something else to it, um, which is like an, another very small amount of powder. And she's going to go around to um, anybody who um, has not finish struggling after Olivia's finished with them and just kind of spray them a little bit um, into their wounds and um, watch them just kind of fizz. Okay. She's, she's testing this out to see. She knows that it, it gets rid of smells, but she just wanted to see what would happen if uh, if we tested it on a human. And so you spray it into the face of one of the corpses. Hmm. Okay. Well, which one? The one with the um, extra hole the or the one with the, the, the more flexible neck? The one with the more flexible neck, the one who was kind of just like squished into the wall because there's, there's a fair bit of open wound there. Okay. Um, yeah, you spray it on them. Um, they start to fizz in a, in, in, in a, you know, a pleasantly effective manner. Um, a, a light lemony scent uh, sort of enters the room. Uh, and they they they, 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 they start to sort of a uh, they start to sort of... blister isn't the right term because they're dead but you know uh, a similar it, sort of effect yeah there's, there's a clear chemical reaction between mm. the iron and the blood and what is in this bottle mm. so she tops it up with uh, with the same gives it a shake and sticks it back in her coat um, and follow these guys uh, through the door okay then. right Barry you have been dicking around with your gun. Um, do you have any manner of tools, or are you just poking at this thing? Um, I think I have a. Do you have like a knife? Yeah, I've got a. I've got like a, a series of basic stuff I left the farm with. So I've got like a a little tool, like a multi-tool thing. Um, okay. Just I would have used like on the farm for like you know cutting twine and stuff like that. Fair enough. Yeah. So I assume that a, a, a yeah. One thing you can guarantee would survive the apocalypse is enormous amounts of binder twine. Mm. Yeah, which I assume right. has become like the the standard farm fixture. I mean, well, currently already is, but you know, even yeah. more so after the apocalypse. Yeah, yeah. You you take out your uh, your, your your like Leatherman bat multi tool. Uh, only like four of the attachments still work, uh, but one of them is the pliers. Uh, you manage to you know you manage to like jimmy some of the the wire loose. Like you manage to unwrap it a bit. And like you know, pull it away. Like there's still sections of wire attached to the gun, but you think you've got most of it away from the mechanism. Yeah, so like, it's, just a, it's just a little awkward like. to hold, you know. But it, it, you know, you've left it in such a way that you could possibly wrap it back around if you needed yeah. to, because the wire. I'm hoping like, I won't need to use it, but hmm. if the people in this vault have decided to arm themselves, then I'd rather yeah. have a, an ability to shoot that. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. So yeah. Standing in front of a vault door, you have a terrifying spray of chemical death, uh, a puppy, 
gun. <laughs> and Travis standing at the front opening doors. Uh, so yeah, uh, the cage lift door like it pulls to one side. Uh, behind it is like a behind it's like um it's like a container door, like a shipping container door. And it's like it's very heavy and quite thick, but not elaborate in any way. Uh, but the fit fastenings seem to be on the inside, sort of thing. Like you, you're looking at the slab sides. Um, as you finish pulling this door aside, uh, you start to see it opening, basically, because when you open a container door, uh, you unlock it, you turn the things out, and it pops open. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's what you see as you're doing it. That's what all those horrible noises you were hearing on the other side was, people trying to grate round rusty old container door openings. Um, so yeah, it, 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 it pops open. Um, and you see, uh, I wanna, you see a, um, you see a head, uh, pop around, uh, in like a big thick helmet, uh, and like a, a sort of really rudimentary sort of gas mask contraption, and this big thick like goggle lenses. Uh, it doesn't come out very high off the ground. It's uh, maybe at around four feet, three, four feet. It pops around the door, just sort of that much. It's like, and someone, you know, through a thick rebreather, says something along the lines of, "What's happening? We need help. Someone's been shot. Someone's been shot. Oh shit!" And. Uh, the door, the door fully opens, and why not? three people uh, in like heavy gear storm through. Like, uh, they're all wearing like big, thick, like padded helmets. Uh, you know, very sort of rudimentary rebreather equipment. You know, goggles or some. One of them's just wearing sunglasses. Uh, you know, the other ones have like goggles of like one looks like a pair of plastic goggles. One's like a pair of swimming goggles. Uh, I was wearing like aviators. But they all have, you know, like like decorating like rebreathers on <laughs> sort of thing. And they're all wearing assorted sort of fairly high quality, but clearly not matching or uh, sort of professionally produced armour. They will rush out in relatively they've got you know, various sort of firearms and you know big heavy hitty things. Nothing sharp. You don't want to damage anything too badly. But yeah. Oh, anyway, they storm out. They're like, "Oh shit!" You know, Terry and Jeff are dead. Ah, <laughs> who are you people? What's happening? Like, what happened here? There was a group of people that came in and started beating up people, and we hid and we came in and tried to help, but they were already dead. How close are these people at the moment? Are they like within arm's reach or it depends how far away you were standing from the door when it opened. But yeah. I was standing right next to the door. You were standing right next to the door. Were you standing still like next to where the keys were? Or are you standing in well, the like, middle of the I doorway? Through when you pulled next the to, through to see what the next door was, that kind of thinking like, how are we gonna get through this? And then they opened, it was like, Oh, someone's coming out, that makes it much easier. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, they they like they've all basically burst through the door and like filed through on like what to you would be the far right hand side so they're lining up on the on that wall basically you get the impression that maybe they've drilled for this and they you know, line up on that wall and sweep through uh yeah so are they like within like lunging distance or are they like uh, yeah i mean one of them standing sort of over by the door yeah. uh one of them standing in the middle of the room and one standing next to you oh, okay like asking you what's going on. Uh, this one appears to be appears to be the tallest of the lot. He's probably still only in his like five foot six. Yeah, he's sort of five foot six and four and a half feet wide, and all okay. this gear. He's like, right. So you know, where did wait? Wait a minute. Where where did you hide? I. 
Head out front, outside the front door. All right. Give me a minute for that. You've just told a very strange story. Uh, I've got uh, lying is easy. Oh, so. that's cool. Yeah. It's just, you have to give the NPCs a chance, and I don't want to just be a dick and say he doesn't believe you. Uh, so that is 8 plus 2 is 10. Oh, he crits. Uh, you get oh, you no. plus 1 for... Oh, never mind. Yeah, he crits. Basically, <laughs> uh, this guy, he just looks around and he's just like, why would you come in after you hear a gunshot in a bank? Uh, well, guy... I saw them run out, and I wanted to make sure nobody was hurt and he was dead. At this point, like, he sees... Like, are you still holding your gun? No. Okay. God, no. Okay. <laughs> But you handed it over, didn't you? Yeah. Well, yeah, he handed it over and he shot the guy while he was grabbing it. Yeah. So your rifle is still somewhere here. The guy, the Are guy's you... probably holding it to his chest. Okay, you left the gun in the guy's hands. Okay, fine, cool. Yeah. So you're standing there with, like, powder burns. On... <laughs> you just shot someone at very close range. <laughs> like, powder burns on your jacket and hands. Like, uh... Uh, he did it. It wasn't me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have... Who are you blaming this on? You are standing in a room with three other people. Is the guy that was behind me in line still here? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Gunfire goes off, people leave. Uh... Shit goes down, people run. Uh, you... Yeah. I will blame it on the person I hired to be the fall. <laughs> oh. She made me do it. <laughs> she said if I didn't do it, she would beat me up. See what she did to the other person? Okay, yeah. So, are you blaming this on Olivia? Give, give me a manipulate. Better be good. Uh, that's a 12. <laughs> oh, shit. Can I, uh, as he says this, can I turn around and go, what? And try and back up <laughs> towards the guard as if I'm backing away from her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he, he believes you. you. You you beat his role to bullshit him by one. So, yeah, you we've pre he's previously crit be, be very suspicious. And he's pressed you. You've pointed the finger. They're like, her, the one with the puppy! <laughs> <laughs> and the other two guards just like rush Olivia and just bundle her. Um... Yeah, one of them like, smacks into her at waist height and just stops uh, because Olivia is stocky. Uh, the other one like, plows into his mate and something goes crunch and he like just falls back and sits there with his legs spread and his hands on his face. It's like, ah, my dove! Because apparently when you rugby tackle someone wearing a gas mask, it's a bad idea. Um, so could I... Uh... <laughs> As I've stepped back in horror towards this guard, can I attempt to, like, smash him in the face with the butt of my shotgun that I'm still holding? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're fully focused on Olivia. This guy's like, he's standing there, he's got his gun, like, on the uh, trained over in that direction. You know, they're tackling that. Case, if, I can, if I can step behind him, I'll just smack him in the back of the neck, because that's probably more effective at like, knocking someone out, because I assume there's probably a gap between where the armor and the helmet is, so that you can kind of move his head. Yeah. Give me a shot. Uh, I can't believe I've managed to roll a botch for someone just tackling someone. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. A five and a botch. Like, pretty sure Olivia's, is bo Olivia's bonuses beat that five. Okay, um, 
if I was using my blackjack, it would have been a 15, but because I'm not, I assume I don't get like the, I'll use like as if I was using the shotgun instead, which only a plus four instead of a plus six. So in that case, I've got a 13. Yeah. Hey, step around. He's not expecting it. Yeah, a swing on down. Yeah. yeah cool. you, 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 you crunch into the back of his neck. Give me some damage. Gem. You're standing there, all hell is breaking loose, Olivia's being tackled, Travis has turned on you all, apparently. <laughs> uh, you've just seen Barry step behind this, like, guard. He's holding his gun up, like, ah! You're standing there with your horribly corrosive spray. What do you do? <laughs> can I, can I just signal to her to, like, and just, like, point to the vault? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm just like go go. Um, seeing as, as Travis has gone a bit odd, um, she is just going to kind of slip, and she because she's not she's the only one not being tackled. She is going to slip into the vault, um, hopefully unnoticed, stealthy almost, sneaky perhaps. Okay, go for it. <laughs> Oh, amazing. She's going to crit. Nice. Um, yeah. you, <laughs> so, yeah. like an absolute ninja, um, <laughs> she's going to walk into the vault. Yes. Um, yes. Despite the fact she has kind of no idea what she's meant to be doing there. Yeah. Um, I know, obviously, she knows she's looking for a box. Mm. Yes. Well, I, I, as, a, as, a, as, a quick uh, as a quick dirty retcon here, let's say you're, you're, you're like your crit of sneak as a as Travis goes, it was her! You just step through the door. <laughs> <laughs> you turn around to look back into the room to see what's going on. Travis is like, go. <laughs> yeah, you get to watch Barry like swing his shotgun down as you vanish through the door. All right. All right, damage. Um, I still have two legendary points. Could I spend both of those to say I just knock him unconscious without having to roll damage? If you want, yeah. Yeah. Because I don't really want to kill the guy, I just don't want him pointing a gun at people for a while. It's very unpuppet like. Yeah. <laughs> but hey. <laughs> well, I only kill people. Oh dear. I don't know if I've actually. No, I did kill someone. At least one. Did you stab mm. a couple of people. <laughs> no, there was some guy left. I pinned down to his back so he could drown his own vomit, but I think that's the only guy I've actually killed myself so far. Okay. So yeah, you. <laughs> Gods. You spend a lot of le- you spend you spend a lot of valuable resources to to knock someone down. Um, but yeah, they go down like a sack of shit. Um, I now have his gun as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nice and quiet. Yes, yeah, so you you properly injure it. You go thwack, and you just take the gun out of his hands as he falls. <laughs> um, you're standing there with with two guns uh, and an open gate behind you. So yes, Travis, what are you doing? You've you've pointed a finger. You've directed a, a tactical insurgency. You've uh, <laughs> you've enacted a plan all of your own. Are we being too charitable? Um. So since the guy went down, I'm going to pick up his shotgun. Barry nicked it. Oh, he did. Was it a, okay. was it a shotgun the guy had? Um, it appears to be something sort of big and blunderbussy, but yeah. I'll pass it across to... Okay. These guys basically come out and sweep this room. Yeah. They have weapons designed for that purpose. Yeah. Yeah, I'll pass him the extra gun, because I don't, I don't need two guns. I'll pass him the one the guard yeah. I just grabbed off the guard. Um, I am going to point it at the other guards. Because okay. they're dogpiling Olivia. Mm-hmm. I'll join him in covering them. Yeah. To be fair, they're, they're kind of sitting near Olivia while she stands there unfazed. But yeah. <laughs> are, they, are they still attempting to dogpile her or have they just suddenly realised that the tables have turned on them? Yeah. Well, no, they, they, they're, you know, they've just dived at Olivia. Yeah. She's overwhelmed them with her pure stat bonuses without rolling. And, uh, 
and one of them botched and broke his own nose. So in that case, uh, I guess just yell like, "Stay on the floor, don't move." Yeah. Olivia, why don't you knock them out, please? God damn it, Olivia, smash! <laughs> <laughs> Olivia looks at you and is just like, "Fuck you." You, you blame me for this. <laughs> you put what, what would Olivia name a puppy? Um, Squeaky. Mister Wigglesnuff. You put Mister Wigglesnuff in danger. I have to write that down. Um, yeah, if you're not forgiving you for putting Mister Wigglesnuff in danger. That's fair. It's not you fucking. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't worth what you pay. But yeah, she uh, she, she takes she takes the she takes the puppy and goes and stands by the door. Like she closes the door and leans on it, but you know, she's not doing your dirty work for you. goddammit. it! She just doesn't want to get caught. So yes, Jim. But in the vault, what are you doing in the vault? Okay, so um, I think she's going to roll a perception mm -hmm. to see if she can actually work out which box yes. um, it is that we're meant to be stealing yeah. because it would be tragic if we ended up taking the wrong one. As long as it's valuable, I don't really care. <laughs> um, nine. It's not great. Okay, yeah. Actually, yeah, you walk into like this this atrium area to the vault. Um, you can see there's like, on the left hand side of the building, there's like lots of racking. There's lots of like small items and weapons, things like that, uh, stored on, you know, kind of like old shopping, old like shop racking. Um, uh, directly ahead, there's like uh, an arched doorway into a back section of the, of the, of the, the room. Uh, but there's like a chain link uh, sort of partition, and behind it you can see like crates, larger things. You know, there are even there are even some like beasts of burden back here. People have just left like all of their shit here. You know, secure stabling. It's like why why do you want to stable something somewhere else? Where you can just leave it with your cargo. Um, it's an odd choice, but that's what they're doing. Um, so yeah, you uh. Come through, and you can see there are, I say, there are about half a dozen sort of large crates. There's like a wagon with a with a team of large dogs pulling it. Um, but you're not really sure what you're looking for. Um, so what she is going to do um, is that she is going to kind of try and lift a couple of them. And see which one is heaviest. Okay. So yeah, you head through into the back section. Um, most of these crates are sort of shipping crate or at least coffin sized. Um, so like you try and lift. You starting with the smallest, yeah. hoping it's going to be small and like small and heavy. Small heavy and means, heavy. Heavy means valuable. Yes. Small means hideable. Um, yeah. Uh, mm. You pick up a small, heavy crate. It's very small and very heavy. It, it's probably you know, it's probably the size of like a decent motorbike helmet. You know, you pick it up and it. Oh Christ, it's heavy. <laughs> and it's it's heavier than a teenage child. Uh, as, you, as you put it back down, like the force of putting it back down, like crumples the box a bit. <laughs> Is it? Openable, or is it just like sealed shut? Um, it's a fairly flimsy wood box. We just like get the impression they put it in whatever's in this. They put it in there just for handles, basically. Okay, so she's going to try and sort of like prise open a little bit to see if it's just rocks. <laughs> uh, you pry it open. Um, it seems to be machine parts. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's. It's cogs and, and and sort of like set short sections of chain and you know, bundles of wires like tied together with like rubber bands. 
Okay, so that's quite clearly a salty deposit. Mm. Um, she is going to move on. Okay. All right. What's everyone outside the vault doing? Does the um, the guard that I've just knocked out, does he have any methods of restraint on him, like zip ties or anything like that? There's rope used. There's rope, there's rope that is uh, like used for like the lot for, for people queuing up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna like go and tie up the two guards who are sitting on the floor at the moment. Because I, I was gonna suggest that as well. Okay. There. So you have two guards currently sitting there. There's one with cradling a broken nose, and the other one just sitting there looking a bit confused and worried because you're both training guns on them. Um, yeah. But <laughs> they're not just gonna let you tie them up. <laughs> this is their job. Like, <laughs> if they let you rob the bank, they're going to lose their job. They they explain this to you. Like, like, just you know, at least make it look good. <laughs> so you've already got a broken nose, and you've got like four dead bodies around you. I'm pretty sure you can make a good report to your boss that you did your best. Okay, yeah. So I do an intimidation check yeah. for that because well, like, 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 yes, yeah. you're surrounded by the bodies of people who have attempted to stop this robbery and fail. Okay, yeah, yeah. Give me, give me an intimidation then. Oh. Yeah, so you're, you're intimidating much. Travis what are you doing I'm gonna make it look good okay <laughs> with a shotgun bang <laughs> how are you making it look good I am going to take the other guy's uh, mask off and break his nose too okay okay um so yeah, uh, Barry, you've gone over and tried to intimidate the person who's sitting there, like cradling their nose. Yeah, like they've taken off their mask, like they've pulled it down around their neck, and like their face is just like covered with blood. Their nose is like twisted off at a strange angle. Um, immediately upon them removing the mask, you can tell it's a woman. Um, or at least a woman presenting individual. Uh, they appear to be quite. They appear to be older than you may originally thought as well. Like, and they they, they take off. They take off the goggles. Uh, it appears to be the person who peeked through the door first. Um, and as they're doing it, they just like oh, fuck, they, just take, they rip the helmet off. It's actually quite an older lady with like long, like cascading grey hair. Um, she looks like everyone's nan. Um, basically, it's punched everyone's nan. Yeah, I haven't punched. I don't know. This is this this is the person who hurt head. her own nose. Um, <laughs> she's just like, just, she's just like, just make it look good. Um, <laughs> you just botched intimidating everyone's nan. Yeah. So, uh, oh, she's no, I reckon like as I was talking, she took her like mask off, and I realized it was like an old lady. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am trying to intimidate someone who's like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, she stands back up to like her full fight of, like, height of like four foot six, and like starts like jabbing, one jabbing a like a gloved hand like into your chest, like, <laughs> like you don't get to tell me what to do. <laughs> like, oh. You and your friends coming in here robbing my bank, like you know. Yeah. Travis, Travis has no manners. He's going to grab her arm and put her in like a an arm lock. <laughs> okay, give her a grapple then. What can I do with my legendary point? Uh, you can re-roll, or you can front-load a roll with a bonus. I'll front-load my roll. Okay, that's a plus two, I believe, now. Okay, so with a grapple. You get legendary botch, like I did earlier. Yes. So, nine plus two is, plus is my normal. Check is. So my grapple check is two. Oh, so plus four. Yeah, that's thirteen. Yeah, yeah. As she's I mean, she's jabbing at. Actually, while she's doing that, I'm going to roll an intimidate for her against Barry. Um, oh, yes. Uh, Barry, roll roll a charisma. Oh, <laughs> Get intimidated by everyone's granny. <laughs> 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 
You want a six? I don't know what my stats are. Let me check. I might have a bonus to my charisma. That's because Nan's a badass. <laughs> oh dear, I'm gonna to be told off by Nan. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, uh, charisma. What's my straight, a straight to charisma? Be, yeah. Yeah. To be fair, I've got a my plus great one. Granddad. That was a seven. Oh yeah, you. No, actually, I don't, I, if you purdy mouth counts, I get a plus one for an eight. No. Okay, if anything, seven. she gets a plus one. Um. So yeah, uh, that makes her roll of fourteen. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> I've just been owned by granny. Yeah. So she's like, she's like pushing you back. Like you know, you start to feel bad about it. Yeah, you, know, you know, you probably do like you know that quintessential thing of like you know, you know the young cocksure guy like you know who you know, gets told off by someone's like Welsh gran. Um, it's like. <laughs> And he batters you back across the room with a single finger and a stern, uh, stern glare. Uh, and then Travis just steps in and puts her in a goddamn arm lock. <laughs> steps over, like, grabs Behind the arm. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Can I take advantage of that and tie her up before she continues to advance on me? <laughs> do you gag her? Yeah, yeah, I, I would think I probably would do. I think I'd probably also like hog tie her, so like hands and feet are tied together with a bit of rope. <laughs> well. okay. Yeah, just like tie tie her up in like a little oh. like you know, hog tie on the floor with a bit of rope to her mouth just to keep her quiet as well. Yeah, yeah. So you tie- on behalf of myself and everybody here, I am sorry, Nads everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's it's a sign of great respect. Uh, you know, you didn't too, take her serious. Hard time, yeah, yeah. They, you didn't dismiss her a threat entirely. Uh, you treated her the same as you would anyone else in that same position. You respected what's, her power as an individual. Uh, what's the other guy doing while we're tying up a, a uh, The other guy, he's sitting there, just he's been there pretty scared now. Uh, and you've taken out his boss. You've you've disabled. Taken out his grandmother. Yeah, you, you've you've <laughs> yeah, you've uh, you've incapacitated his. Well, Cox, your friend. Um, you know, he's just sitting there like, oh, for God's sake, just, you know, it's just a job. <laughs> don't, 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 don't hurt me. Yes, it <laughs> is just a job. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Once I finish tying up the granny, I'll, I'll just like, don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you, just go tie you up. Mm. Tie him up too. Okay, yeah. Uh, give, me, give me a craft. On tying this person up, I, I understand that you're probably motivated in the case of the Nan, but you know, oh. do like an extra thorough job. But you oh, lost the dice, huh? No, I rolled the dice. I just okay. didn't roll very well. Okay, what'd you get? I I rolled a two. Yeah, that's probably not going to be enough. Uh, but with my, I get a plus three for my craft, so I've got like a five. Yeah, you you tie like some really simple bullshit. Um, you, know, you make like a you make like a very large but ineffectual granny knot. Yeah. Uh, and like, I'm you're hoping you know, more like intimidation will keep him from trying to escape. Rather yeah. Than... I mean, it's it's like a big ass knot, like the size of like a child's head. Yeah. But <laughs> it's quite clear that they could just like pull it loose. <laughs> but they sit there, you know. They're like, well, you know, as long as it looks like I've tried. <laughs> you know, as you're sitting there tying it, like you're really drawing an enormous cock over this, and they're just like, <laughs> you know, just make it look good. You know, I, I, I appreciate you're not tying it tight enough, tight enough to hurt me. Uh, but they start to help like, <laughs> that over there, you know, around the tree, around the tree, around the tree, and down. Come on. Well, it's their time, but right, let's sit there and, and look at the corner. Oh, like, whatever, yeah. I assume this guy is, haven't got any, hasn't got any weapons on him. I think he had like a big hitty stick sort of oh, thing. You know, it's... Take that away and yeah, like, yeah. lean it up against the wall somewhere he can't easily yeah. reach it. Yeah, the other two had like rebars sort of thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll just make a little collection of like hitty objects and just put them somewhere where they can't, they'd have to run past us to get them or something. Okay, then, yeah. Right. It's a gem. You're inside the vault, you're checking boxes, you've checked one, it seems to be full of machine parts. Let's say you've checked another, it seems to be full of like high value foodstuffs. You know, it's you know, pre war foodstuffs. So example, you know, it's it's canned Marines. goods and, and booze. Um you know, there's a 
don't know. You know, notable within it is like there's a there's like a bottle of camp coffee or something. Um, you know, there's some you know horrible chicory muck. Uh, so yeah, you you get through all that, and uh, you come across finally um, a box that looks a bit different to the others. Uh, it kind of um, it looks like someone was. It looks like someone has made a box out of new planks and weathered them. Okay. And it has like shipping marks on it. Hmm. How easy is this box to look into? Uh, the planks don't meet. Okay. Like there's a yeah, you know, there's sort of like finger width gaps between them. And what can she see between the gaps? Um. <laughs> Light in here probably isn't that great, but uh, as you po- you know, sort of you look inside, you can see there's something shiny in there. Okay. You see light glinting off the contents. So based on the fact that everything is kind of trashed anyway, because you know, hundred years of. Yeah, I mean, this box is big. Um, this is going to be the box. Yeah. Um, how heavy is this box? Um. As in, can she drag it onto the cart that's in here? The dog cart. Mm. I would say it's probably the crate that's on the dog cart. Okay. <laughs> I could just ride the cart out of here. Marvellous. Um, yeah. I mean, this, that, this, this crate is about the size of a small family car. Cool. Um, that's the one that's coming with us. Is there, um, is there any other room on the car? There's like a seat at the front. Mm. But you could stack the decent food on top of it. So you know, if you're going to ride off with the, the crate of goods, you may as well take the decent coffee. I mean, it is, it's literally like a coachman's bench. You know, it's a it's a plank. Yeah. That you sit on. I don't know, um, like, I don't know that she's going to be thinking about taking the food. Mm. Um, I. Yeah, I mean, the, the thought probably crossed her mind, but if there isn't like a standard like that is room for that, um, plus we keep killing people, and we need to get out of here. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, so she's going to. So, how easy is it for her to like move this cart? Um, I would say if you can work out how to get the dogs moving. Um, it sounds like a job. Presumably. For it would move. <laughs> that sounds like a job for Olivia. Um, yeah, so um, she is... So what are the dogs actually doing? Um, mostly they're just sort of laying down. Uh, they're attached... They're all attached to they're like attached. a yoke system. And there's a chain. Like, there's a chain coming from the top, the front of the, the harness sort of thing they're all attached to. That attaches to a ring on the floor. Okay, cool. Right, so she is going to sit up on the bench. She's going to take this chain, hold on to it. Um, I apologise to everyone for this. I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm not. I'm not. I'm really not. Um, it's in game. It's not actually happening. Um, she's going to take out her little spray and just spray it on their tails. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Um... At which point a kitty appears behind it. <laughs> oh, oh, what have I done? <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, the yeah, the dog's tail start to sizzle. Uh, the smell is unpleasant. Uh, it's a uh, hmm, trying to think of the words. Um, it's kind of like a. It's kind of like cooking bacon over an oil fire. Um, I'm sorry, doggies. Yeah, I'm monster. It's very unpleasant. Um, the dogs are very agitated. Uh, they really don't want to be anywhere near. Uh, the source of this this sort of like spraying mist that's burning their tails, uh, but they are attached to a harness system that's chained to the floor. So, oh, bugger. Um, like they're 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 pulling, they're they're rattling, they're uh, they're abandoning the like you know, the small like piles of like bones and food that were on the floor. Um, uh, they're nipping at each other. They're trying to flee. They're not moving in like a cohesive direction. They're just Where panicking. Where is it chained? At uh, the front. At the front, uh, the front of this like yoke arrangement is attached to a chain attached to a ring in the floor. Okay, um, I think at this point, 
um, Gem is going to need to go and get some assistance, um, and she is going to go out to the others, hoping that they have. We can sort... shout because we're not actually that far away. Oh, I guess yeah. 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 And I expect we're probably listening. <laughs> also, there are dogs <laughs> yowling. Yeah, do dogs. Uh, you, you can you well. can hear dogs in pain. She is yep. going to shout for Olivia. I was going to say we'll we'll ask Olivia to go and have and go and assist. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Olivia and her pup, uh, Wiggle Schnuff, uh, go through into the back. Um, she's like, oh, puppies! Oh, Olivia, can you rescue these dogs by undoing that chain down there? I can't recall if Olivia has any manner of weapons. I don't have the character sheet. Um, Olivia just runs across the room. She, she sees what's going on, and she just kicks the ring in the floor. And through sheer superhuman awesomeness... It like pings free. It's literally just like been hammered in to the floor, so it's not fantastically it's well basically. secured. Yeah. yeah, it's been it's been secured. Like a dog wouldn't pull it loose, just sort of tugging a bit. But the dogs have been trained not to pull against it. Um, so yeah, she she kicks this ring and it just pings out the goddamn floor. Um, the chain is still attached to the yoke. This thing's still attached to the chain. Can uh, we see through the gate what's going on in here? Um, you can probably see. So you can you can probably see Jem sitting on the bench of the cart. So we can a, we can see there's a cart that Jen's attempting to pilot by the looks of it. Yeah. Does it look like the door would be big enough to get it out through in the front? Or does it look like it goes through a rear entrance somewhere? Um, because I'd imagine they wouldn't ride this thing through the main hmm. bank, but I may be wrong. Yeah, uh, the main front door of the bank does seem wide enough for this to get through. Okay, in that case, and does it look like it would be able to fit all the way through? through the sliding door and everything and go out through the front door. Oh yeah, the sliding door's about half the room you're standing in. It's a big okay. ass door. In that case, um, I'll leave Travis covering these two guards while I go over and open the door so we can all get out on this car that's about to come through a great rot rate of knots judging by the howling and like you know noise coming through from the back door. Back room. <laughs> okay. Right. We are going to need a a charisma, a manipulate of sorts, to try and get the dogs to do what you want. You're trying to convince panicking animals to work as a team. A charisma. Um, yeah, this is going to go brilliantly. Oh, it's really not. Can I use my legendary point to re-roll that? Because I got a one. Yes. <laughs> you definitely can. Oh, it wasn't a botch, but... No, it was a botch. Okay, that's better. Um, so that was a nine, so ten in total. Okay. Um, you managed to get the dogs to calm down a little uh, by, by yelling at them in a calming manner uh, or a motivating <laughs> manner, maybe. Um, Olivia is holding like the chain at the front of the pack like pulling it like showing them the direction to go trying to like steer them round um and at this point you're more motivating them to run away from you than run towards where you want to go um but the cart does seem to start rolling It's starting to turn around because it's it sort of parked at right angles to the do to the exit. It's starting to come round. Um, yeah, as in the front, you are standing there covering guards. You are <laughs> what? What's happening now? I've I've opened the door so we can get the car out, and Travis yep. is covering the guards, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the car continues to come round. Um, the guards are a little confused as to what the fuck's going on, generally. Uh, I mean, they understand that you're being robbed, but normally people don't try and escape with carts in a locked down town. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, dogs start to come around. Um, 
Olivia's now pulling the chain, uh, like showing them where to go. Like she's standing basically at the arch into the atrium area. Um, things are starting to move. Uh, are you going to hop on? Are you going to run ahead? Are you going to follow? Can, is there room for us to hop on? Or There's a crate. You can probably like, hang on to it. Uh, it might be better if I go ahead, because then I can try and get the guards to open the door if they've closed it. I assume we're not going to go through the gate immediately outside because they've already shut that. I was going to go through town and try and go out through one of the other gates that may not have heard the explosion or may not have tried to close the gate yet. Okay. And so you're going to run out of... <laughs> Once again, you run away. Ah. This is a similar thing of a pattern now. Well, if I walk outside, what's, what's the situation outside? Now I've opened the gates and I've kind of stepped out into the street. Yeah. What can I kind of um... organise? You can see there's like a small crowd of concerned onlookers around uh, the poisoned people. Um, there's you know so a few like uh, th there's a few concerned do-gooders uh, like attempting CPR on people, um, but it doesn't seem to be doing much. Uh, the guards, <laughs> the guards are spreading out a little from the gate now. Uh, the gates are still closed. Uh, but mainly it looks like people are all gawping at this new contagion or possibly poisoning incident. Yeah. yeah there's maybe sort of 20 or 30 people like standing around well, half a dozen attempt to actually do something about it. Yeah. Um, is there enough room to get the cars out around these people? Oh god, yeah. Okay, cool. In that case, I'm just going to kind of like make a face at the thing and go like, "Oh, plague! We've got to get out of here!" And, and then like start heading up. If I walk out into the street, can I look up away from the current gate and towards the gate? Well, actually, is the gate open or is it still shut? It's still shut. Okay. If I walk out and look up the street, can I see the gate at the other end or is it like out of view? It's out of view. Yeah. It's okay. It's not a perfectly straight road. I'm just going to start heading in that direction. Can I hear the cart moving behind me, still heading towards me? Yeah, yeah. You can cool. you, you can hear the sound of angry dogs moving. This sort of thing. Cool. Yeah, in that case, I'm going to step out onto the street and start heading towards the other gate and kind of like yeah. gesture to kind of follow behind me. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. You 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 storm out into the street, Travis. The uh, Olivia's just passing you, basically. Uh, the the cart is sort of just moving into view uh, into the main room where you are. Uh, as it does, uh, you you hear it sort of crunch over the unconscious guard in the doorway. Um, <laughs> I guess we forgot to move it. <laughs> um, well, there goes what I uh, there goes. Um, I was going to ask if I could put on his armor uniform thing. Mm. But we still can. It's just a little bit squashed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just a bit, you know, damp and misshapen. Um, yeah, Jem, you are now in the main room. Uh, you, in your sort of, your, your turning circle has taken you over an unconscious man. Uh, but through the doors, you're in the main room, you're getting sort of lined up with the gate. Uh, now is the time. Uh, you need to motivate these doggos. Um. Olivia is... Heading round and hopping on next to you. Can she not stay at front and continue leading? It might be. Yeah. yeah well, the dogs are getting their act together now. They're... Okay, so the dogs are getting their act together. Hmm. Um, she's going to hold onto her 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 chains um, and kind of like, move them off and, and like yell from behind. They clearly don't like her. Um, she's not particularly keen on them. Hmm. So there is a sort of a, a mutual just distrust mm -hmm. um, that's driving them forward. Um, and she is going to drive this cart forward towards the others, um, yelling at them to grab on um, because she's not going to be able to stop it once it starts. Okay. <laughs> right. Roll me your 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 uh, <laughs> manipulate manipulate animals. Yes. Maybe manipulate intimidate. Animals. I think intimidate, isn't it? Intimidate. Yeah. This is okay, definitely well, going to be a charisma intimidate. You are just appearing to look big and dangerous. Okay, uh, that is a 12. 12. Yeah, the, the dogs, you know, yeah, they've been, they've been hurt. They've been shown, they've shown the exit now. They, you know, this is what they do. They are a pack. 
you know, they are a, a hauling pack. And this is what they do. So yeah, they've they've been shown the door. They can see daylight. They don't want to be here. This place hurts. Travis, you now have a chance to either hop on board, hop away, <laughs> get out the goddamn way, or get on board, basically. I'll get on board. Okay. All right, give me a dexterity. Uh... Oh, no. Well, that... No, thank God. But that is a three. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, um, you you're standing there. You're covering the guards still. Uh, like the you know, Olivia and Olivia and Jim, you know, start shouting at the dogs, egging them on. Um, and you know, you can you hear the cart sort of starting to pick up speed. And uh, you're still holding the gun on the guard, still holding the gun on the guard, still holding the gun on the guard. And you turn around just like to grab on, on the assumption that like the the force of momentum will like swing you on. And instead, you kind of just like bruise your knuckle on the edge of the crate, and you're left standing in the bank, <laughs> like sucking your finger, like oh shit, <laughs> as the as the car just tears out the front door. <laughs> um, then I'm gonna throw on the uniform of the crushed guy. <laughs> And make it look like I am a person who is escorting the uh, the dogs. Yep. That's the bank right gear you're trying to put on, though. Yep. Rather than the guard, the the. But it's, you're already dressed like a caravan guard because that's they don't really have dress. Whereas if you dress like a bank enforcer, be like, why is a bank enforcer chasing this runaway cart up the street? <laughs> I will just follow. I will just follow. Okay, yeah. You just run on out afterwards. Okay. Day. So yeah, you uh you all rush on out, uh cart crashes off up the up the street. You um Is it starting to overtake me? So I went it, off ahead of it. It probably hasn't reached you yet. Um but yeah, you, you know, you pass the crowd of like you know, gawping on lookers. Um, you catch it, yeah. It catches up to to Barry just before passing the grime pit. I'll um, seeing that it's going faster than me, and I'm not going to be able to keep ahead of it. I'm going to try and just jump on to the back of the car. Okay, yeah. Give me a dexterity. How did this go wrong? You're basically attempting to jump onto a moving transit wagon, like while it moves. Look. Can I claim it's a strength because I'm just trying to hang on as it like goes past? No, because you've got to time it. You're actually having to use your coordination to catch this thing as it speeds past. Nine. Nine. Um Yeah, you you, you hit it. <laughs> you you jump if if not You jump possibly a little too early. Um, and you sort of hit the side of it before I'm grabbing on. Into it, but managed to hang on. Well, it's more you, you like you crash into it with a shoulder when you're attempting yeah. to to grab onto the back of the crate as it passed. Yeah. But instead, you sort of hit it with your shoulder and end up sitting on the back of the wagon, like, <laughs> like your arms like around the back of the crate, like facing backwards. Um, you can see Travis like running up the road behind you. Uh. He's not getting further away, but he's not closing the distance either. Um, yeah. As you crash on up the street. All right, Jim, where are you going? <laughs> you are steering a runaway wagon. Where is it going? Um. What is your escape plan? What are you trying to do with this? Just to try and get, um, get out of the town. Get out. Um, we're just, yeah, so basically towards the gate. We're going to go through straight through the guards. Um, we're going to try and build up as much speed as possible and just like barrel this thing. Um, <laughs> okay, well, give me another intimidate then. <laughs> I've run out of um, virtually points and I just rolled a one. Okay, yeah. So yeah, you're you're sitting there you're rattling this chain, sort of attempting to like um, 
like, rattle the reins, like, forward, like, lash the reins, onward, on! And the dogs, like, start to get confused, because uh, you're not really providing any, like, concrete direction. Um, and they start to sort of slow down and look around and, like, ooh, what's this? What's over here? Ooh, that smells good. Um, Can Olivia jump in and try and assist? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, Olivia's mainly trying to control and hold on to her puppy. Uh, but yeah, um, she seems like the oh dog god was. no! Um, Olivia drops her puppy. <laughs> she she botches, uh, so she drops her puppy. Um, uh, Mister Wigglesnoof uh, falls off the wagon. Um, oh. What happens to Mister Wigglesnoof? Oh, please don't make me run him over. No, <laughs> he, he crits. Uh, wi Mister Wigglesnoof just like. Hits the ground rolling. <laughs> Gets up and starts like, running along the side. Uh, running along next to the cart. Which is slowing down, quite conveniently. <laughs> you have a small pup, like, running along next to you, barking. You know, pleasant little yaps. Um, unfortunately, now that the wagon is slowing down, Travis manages to catch up. Can I, now that we're slowing down, can I reposition myself to be slightly more comfortable in this wagon? Oh, yeah. I imagine you could probably even help Travis up. Cool. Yeah, I'll help Travis up and then be like, right, we can go now. Yeah, you're sitting on the crate, I imagine. There's nothing else to actually really sit on. You can hold on to the side or sit on top. I'll sit on top. Okay. I'm sitting. Okay, cool. Yeah. You smash on through um, the town. Once you get onto like the, the main sort of like road through, you can just smash it up towards the, the north. Uh, the northern gates aren't closed. Um, you know, the the perceived emergency was at the south. Uh, up the north, they're just like, did something happen at the bank? Um, I heard there's a, I heard someone's in. Uh, before we get there, I'm going to throw the gun that I had away so I have no questions about why I have this random gun that isn't uh, tied up. Okay. okay just, roll a, just roll a d12 for me. There we go. Twelve. Just natural twelve. Yes. Nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> you 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 throw this gun. Um, it you hear a window break. Um, uh, you hear like you hear like a young person's voice. Like, oh wow, a gun! This is awesome. <laughs> uh, oh oh oh! Mommy, daddy, bag. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it works. And then you just hear another window break. And they go, cool. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, you, you've you've managed to get rid of your incriminating weapon. Um, yeah, the the cart just barrels through the town. Um, the the guards at the northern gate take like one look uh, and just get out of the goddamn way. Um, you yeah, you're steadily increasing in speed now. You uh, you barrel out the road north of town um, until the dogs are tired. Basically, <laughs> you get a good few hours of running out of them before they just like. The dogs are just knackered. Uh, they no longer have enough oomph to keep going, and they start to sit. Should we... Uh, <laughs> when they start slowing down, should we kind of steer them off the road a bit so we can try and kind of cover ourselves? Yeah. yeah. In case people decide to come and try and follow us. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You've pulled off the road. Yeah, Mr. Wigglesnuff eventually catches up. Yeah, still dogs. Yeah, because you've been slowing down for a little while now. Yeah, he's a, um, he catches up like after maybe about half an hour of you sitting off the road. Um, <laughs> Olivia picks him up. Oh, I'll never let you go again. Uh, so yeah, you have a crate. What are you doing with the crate? Uh, well, now that we've Opening kind of it. dangerous, yeah. I don't want to open it up and have a look, see what we've just... Absolutely, what did we steal? Excellent. What, what did we just make ourselves the most wanted people in Halls for? <laughs> are you opening the cake carefully? Are you smashing it open? Are you what? Open it carefully. We've got a, a good method of moving it. If we destroy the crate, it might fall off the wagon or something. Yeah, so maybe just like take one or two of the side panels off. Okay. The top, because then we could look in from the top. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You, you leave the top panel off. Um... And what you can see inside is it's sort of like a metal cage uh, with plastic panels, like clear plastic panels in it. 
and uh, inside you can see um, you can see lots of machinery. Uh, one of the pieces of machinery is kind of uh, kind of like a plastic accordion that goes up and down every few seconds, and you can see lots of sort of little pipes. And there's a machine with two like, circular sections that keeps spinning. There's clearly a liquid being drawn in on one side and drawn out the other. It's quite a quite a dark colour. It's it's almost black. Um, as you as you really peer on in, uh, you can see in the in the midst of this, there's a person laying in this thing. And uh, as you remove the top and you know, all this sort of sinks in. Um, you see their eyes open, and uh, you know, they sort of rather feebly. Um, they look like they've been, they're waking up. Um, and they sort of reach over and they start like removing things. And they turn something off, and all the machines start to power down around them. And uh, they they hit a little switch next to them, and the top of the box they're in pops up. And there's this brush of cold air that comes out. And uh, they sit up and they, they zip up their grey suit with blue fringing. And uh, they take out the little like air hose that's in their nose. And he asks, Right, uh, where, where are we? Like, wh what am I supposed to be doing? Who are you? I'm... Um, I'm Alvin. I'm an engineer. Oh, I was, uh, I was uh, sent out from dwelling to to fix the uh, the air processors. Um, where are we? Uh, we're about two hours north of Halls. Where's that? Uh. North of Desolation. About What's that? two days north of Blight Town. What's Blight Town? Uh, Close to where the post gens are? Yeah. Post what? Hang on a minute. What's a dwelling? Does she. <laughs> Would. Jem recognise the uniform being that she's like hundreds of years old, or a hundred in a bit. Um, yeah, um, you would recognise the uniform from uh, the old uh, Dwell Inc. Uh, recruitment posters. Uh, this is the uniform of uh, a Dwell Inc. engineer. But uh, I know anything about Dwell Inc. Um, you might have heard about dwellers. Uh, you know, they're, they're pasty folks who know a lot about technology. You know, they don't know an awful lot about farming. Hmm. They tend to get quite poorly when they go outside. Okay, so this is a guy who knows lots about tech, yeah? You don't understand, sir. He told you he was oh, an engineer. I'm just going to turn to the other guys and go, hmm, you know, this guy would be, like, you know, really valuable to the right people. Not to mention the tech he's in. I mean, like, we could probably get a lot of money if we were to sell this guy. We, we, we could. Um, and, and scientifically, he's fascinating. What was that, sir? I know some people. Yeah? Uh-huh. <laughs> Whereabouts uh, are these people? Could we? Uh, are they within a dog sleigh ride uh, distance from here? Ah, oh, they're in a town just north of here. Okay. Well... Handily, we happen to be going north, so maybe we could go and drop this good fellow off somewhere where uh, he can get some help. I'll say that slightly louder so that, like, yeah, the, the guy can hear that we're trying to help him. As, as you're saying all this, uh, you know, he, this guy's he's fairly bleary. You know, he's coming out of this thing. Um, yeah, he's, like, he's looking around. He's, he's he's clearly not seeing something he's expecting to. Um, he's like, does. Does anyone have um, my medicine? Uh, well, we're going to the next town uh, so we can get you some help there. 
yeah, we, I'm sure we can um, we can find something. Um, what, what what is the medicine you, you need? Uh, he just points. And he has like a a shunt like installed in his arm. Um, and it's clearly just a thing you meant to like screw a, a, a canister into. Uh, uh, you, you can see that around it, the skin's sort of a little grey. Um, he's like, um, you, you're not who I'm meant to be with, are you? No, I think probably we need to take you to those people. Oh God. Um, oh God. Um, uh, it, 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 he, he, he's trying to climb back into his box. Um, <laughs> He's trying to he's trying to plug like one use needles back into holes that are closing. Um, but if you just settle down there, we'll take you to the next town. Then we can get you so someone you, to help you. you. Like, oh god, I should have checked first. Like, I've only got like days. I need it. What? Oh god. <laughs> what? Are you dying or something? Yes, we're all dying. It's so calmly. We're all dying. <laughs> Who's dying? All of us. He's like trying to jam. He's trying to like jam a feeding tube from his like from the box like back into this hole, but the fittings break when you pull them out. It's like, oh god, it's not working. Uh, you can see even as he's sitting there, even in the length of time he's been talking to you, he's turning starting to go grey in the face. So I'm like, I turn to James like, do you know what's wrong with him? I didn't know I did. I didn't touch him. He kind of looks like one of those people that's had that kebab you made. <laughs> he definitely didn't have any of my kebab. Um, I don't know. Anyway, you well, can kind of patch him up until we make it to the next town, because, you know. No, it just seems to be close. Oh, the, the, the holes are just closing. I mean, what what is that contraption in the box? It's, it's the life support system I was meant to be on until I got to the the, um, I don't know if I should be telling you this. <laughs> well, if you tell us, we can get you there. What happened to the guards? They um, died. Yeah. Yeah, there was an epidemic. Highly contagious. We got you horrible. out of there, though. Just lots of vomiting, diarrhea. It was awful. Okay. Jones. We were told to get you out of town. Well, but you got me out of town. Told us where? Excellent. And that's where we're going to leave this villainy. <laughs> as we, uh, as the camera pulls away on Alvin's graying face and extreme panic. We can Patch all him so we can sell him. <laughs> we can all reflect upon this tale of how greed is killing someone with vital skills who was doing something important to save lives. Eh. Almost like we get a payday. I'm okay with that. Maybe the slaves will help him. <laughs> but yes. You, uh, you stole uh, an atmosphere engineer who was dying of a horrible disease. Um, so yeah. There we are. That was that. Congratulations. You didn't wait. You opened it up and he's dying in your arms. I, uh, well, we didn't open the inner pod. We only took the, like, you know. Yeah. He you took only the closed no, 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 that's, that's fine. You, 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 no, you were solar powered. Yeah, yeah you were. <laughs> this, was, this was an eventuality that was planned for. Um, so, yes. There we are. So, in the next campaign, when you need Alvin, he won't be there. Okay, that was what this whole thing was about. A sleeper camp to the north. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, that was that. That was that was wonderful. I was just waiting for someone to open the box and see what happened. Um, but yeah, oh joy. So yeah, um, I'm yeah brain resetting um, as it always is at the end of settings, end of a session. Um, so yeah, uh, I was thirsty. I was the world. You were the players. You were the viewers. Those of you who stuck around. I don't know if anyone did. We ran very late. Oh, God. Quite a few. Um, oh, I wish it had a better ending now. Um, <laughs> so, yes. I was thirsty. I was the world and all its petty irritations. Um, 
we will continue this prologue series to find the events and locations of, of key things and people uh, next time. Uh, and maybe we'll have Lilith, although I think she's in America, so we shall have to see. Oh, yeah. Next, next Monday she is. Yeah, yeah. next yeah. Monday. Yes. And she has said that doesn't necessarily rule it out. <laughs> no. Because she's an ambitious sort of, sort of person. But yes. If you want to find me, despite my bungling and strangeness and my inability to speak right now, uh, you can find me on Twitter, thirsty underscore BTP. You can find me here on Mondays. Uh, you can find me doing things occasionally at Bloodthirsty Pubs to Cut It UK. Uh, occasionally I say things that like you know, fit together and form sentences. Um, right. So, to break the habit of a lifetime, Spanners, where can Hello. we find you? What are you doing? How Gosh, disappointed uh, were you with the bad ending? No, I loved it. Because you were like the bad know, ending. We always like to end on death. <laughs> um, no, I am Spanners. Um, oh, I've got to get rid of Gem. That's quite sad. Um, you can find me on Twitter at, I'm really sorry, my brain is not working at the moment. You can find me uh, on Twitter at uh, spanners underscore BTP. You can find me on my Twitch channel, our BTP underscore spanners because Twitch stole my name. Um, you can find me on Dark Dice. Um, and I'm really sorry, you can only see my face, but I'm gonna do this. Go and buy the merchandise. <laughs> um, um, you can also find me on Counterbalance, um, other stuff, and on bloodthirstypuppets.co.uk. When I get round to blogging, I am really sorry. I started off really well, and I'm being a bit shit at the minute. Um, I will do more blogging. Brutal, um, honest. More, more exciting stuff. Yes. Um, and hopefully a, uh, a noobs game over the summer. So. Yes. So if you're if you're watching and you, you you want to be recruited as a noob, you know who to get in touch with. I believe noob. You put, you put a, a Discord link out a while ago on Twitter. That's interesting. We did indeed, and I will stick some more um, Discord Discord uh, links out there. Um, but I think we may have an initial uh, team together mm. for a, a one shot cool. of uh, not so much noobs for tabletop RPG, but certainly spiced noobs. To be fair, there aren't an awful lot of, of experienced spiced players, uh, so there we are. We're working on it. Yeah, we're we'll working on it. We're working on it. We'll get there. It's only been what three, four years. Um, yeah, it's it's like four years of like seven people who are sitting in one room. Uh, so yes, right next tech. Where can we find you? What else do you do? Do you do anything? You can. Else? probably find me most easily on our discord channel um which i spent the uh linkage to can be found on someone's twitch uh twitter account probably uh thursdays um yeah you can also find me uh here obviously and uh tinkering about with the website which is due some work and hopefully will kind of be coming back bigger and better and more awesomer soon um also uh coming up in September, I think on the 7th or 10th, whichever one's the Saturday, uh, there's Brighton Reunicon, uh, Day of RPGing, and there will be spiced presents there, at least one spiced game. So if anyone is in the Brighton Sussex area, fancies coming down and meeting us and playing a game of spiced, come on down. Um, I will tell all my UK friends. Cool. And yeah, I will probably be back here next Monday. Excellent. So there. So now we are. We hop the continental divide. Kit, where can we find you? What else are you doing? I am well. Kit. You can find me here for the next few Mondays uh, on my channel and Twitter at Kit Battlebeard. Uh, I do a lot of D and D, uh, both writing and playing, both as a DM and as a player. But now that School is finishing up. Day was my last day, so yay! Uh, I'll be back to actual proper streaming schedule of Saturdays being actual playing and some few sprinkling of other streams during the week. 
of who knows other things until school starts up again in the summer or in September, not the summer, uh, in September, and I'll have to figure out a different schedule. But other than that, uh, check out my Twitter. I post a bunch of other stuff as to what's happening on the channel there. See, that, that's what happens when someone uses Twitter, like, properly, and, like, you know, thinks about it, rather than me, who goes, oh, yeah, we've gone live, I should probably probably tweet about that. <laughs> so, yeah, there you are, that's that's that. Uh, uh, it's the end of our time for tonight. Time at the bar. Drink up, folks. And cheerio, little miscreants. Ta-ra. Bye. Oh, oh, gosh. That was cool. Yes. We only had to run like nearly an hour, oh, nearly half an hour over. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Uh, you know, it's making up for the times that we are late. That poor cranny. <laughs> and he broke her nose. Probably he broke the he granny's nose. Granny <laughs> she broke her own nose. She did. She did. She broke her own it... nose, headbutting her friend. If if only she was a religious persuasion, we could have actually beaten up a nun. But. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you are awful, awful Dude. people. Uh, <laughs> well, that was one of Corrine's requirements. She had to beat up a nun. Yeah. 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 Corrine maybe requires strange game. things. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe in the next game I'll have you wander into a like a place of worship or something. Who knows? Oh, God. I mean... Nothing but old women around here. It's like, right, get the clubs out. <laughs> oh, God damn it, man. Yeah, eating puppies was not enough. <laughs> You know, yeah. there are, there are hey, readily the available food sources. I know. I know. Oh, yes, this is a good idea to get me. Oh, no, that's awful. What have I done? I was like, instant regret. <laughs> oh. Well, at least at least Mr. Wiggle Schnoof survived. Despite all odds. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you dropped him, I was like, oh, let's go down to the wagon wheel. <laughs> I, was just, I was just waiting for the crunch. Oh. Uh, no, 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 he. I thought you did a smoothie. <laughs> that was not my fault. I wasn't even controlling Schmoopy at that point. <laughs> that was all Corone. All his fault. <laughs> but yes. There we are. Thanks again for playing, guys. It's Thank you. Always great to inflict horrors upon you. <laughs> and see what horrors you inflict upon everyone else. So yeah. Thanks again. Oh.